It's gonna be the big topic of complications after SEDIS and how to deal with them. Uh, the first uh, subtopic is gonna be about leak, the one that we don't want to face. And the professor is gonna be uh, Professor C.K. Huang. Please welcome him. Thank you. Uh, okay. The leak of loop DJB. I, I'm not uh, talking about the sleep leak anymore because uh, I think uh, there will be another topic about this. And then uh, this is about DJ leak. Uh, in fact, this is not my video by another friend, but uh, because later I will tell you that why I don't have video. And I'm uh, showing. Okay, it works. So when the DJ leak, most of this is what you will see. A lot of fibrin coating, some bio coming out because the loop fashion. So you will see the osmosis, it's dehiscence. This uh, happened in the interior wall. Mostly for the DJ leak, the patient presented with fever, uh, peritonitis, and if you put a drain, you will see the bio coming out from the drain. And uh, leukocytosis, the patient, uh, similar to loss with sleep leak. <coughs> so when you see this, uh, the first thing is, of course, is damage control. So wash all the peritoneal contaminations, keep the antibiotics, uh, resuscitation the patients, keep the MPO. Then you go in that, uh, then you find the leak is there. So what would you do? You uh, direct to repair it, or conversion to what, or uh, become the other procedures. It's a very difficult decision for most surgeons. Okay? So like this surgeon, what he's trying to do might be to repair it. Uh, I'm not sure. If it comes on, it happened in your hands, what would you do? You will convert to bypass. Okay? Uh, any other options for the other surgeons when you see the leak? Uh, I'm not sure that why the surgeon tried to repair it. In my opinion, the same. When the tissue failure, you redo it. I don't think it really would work. It might have some problems for perfusion, infection over there already. So he uh, find the leak over there, then he tried to repair it. Okay. But after the procedure, he also do a feeding jejunosomy uh, for uh, quick enteral feeding, improve the nutrition also. But in this kind of case, I might also have different uh, opinion about that. So how to revise is an issue. So I'm going to show you my experience that we just published a paper about this. This is the reoperation after sleep DJV for our nine years uh, follow up and our experience. We totally do uh, 337 cases, and totally there's 10 cases need the uh, reoperation. Reoperation means, does not mean it's revision. It means the patient need the second operation for uh, sleep issue or from duodenal jejunal uh, issues. And some is from the leak. Totally there are two leak. And uh, some is sleep. Uh, stricture or kinking. And uh, so I'm going to show you for loss with DJ anastomotic uh, complication. For early one, uh, we have two cases develop the leak. So if it's ulcer or leak or strictures, uh, we will convert to resectional RYGV. Then if the it's because of bleeding from the gastrointestinal artery branch, then if it's stable, uh, we can convert to Ru and Y DJV. If unstable, maybe you have to do resection. No? And the lead complication is not related to uh, DJ anastomosis, like bioreflux, I will convert to Ru and Y DJV. This is the total 10 cases that we encounter. You will see case one is a leak from anastomosis, so we convert to resectional RIGV. The second case is leak from anastomosis too. But we convert to OAGV with brown anastomosis. Uh, I think those who know me that you know I don't do OAGV, right? But why this case have OAGV fashion? Because uh, after finish operation, the next day I fly to the meeting. Then the patient developed a leak. 
the drain looks dirty, so my fellow has to go in. So I call the fellow, say, uh, peritonitis, my leak, you have to go in. When he go in, he finds he has no uh, ability to convert to ruin wine. But he thinks that he can have the longer tube uh, for those is more safer than less tension. So he decided to do OAGB with brown anastomosis. The, after his operation, the patient is okay, healed, then discharged. But this case developed marginal ulcer after six months later. So after one year of the surgery, I have to convert to Ruan Y by laparoscopy again. Okay, so eventually in this case become a, a Ruan Y gastric bypass too. Okay, then those who when you do the dissection, if you have the bleeding from GDA uh, branch, we have to, as this morning I talk, we have to do total devascularization or do Ruan Y DJV. And we have few cases of the, because of GERD, then we have to convert to bypass, okay. So uh, this is the, uh, how we do it. Uh, mostly those who have the leak, if you want to do resectional RYGB, then in fact you can see the dash line here. Uh, we will cut from here and cut this one and cut this one and take out this part. So it's called resectional gastric bypass, okay? Then convert to uh, YGB. And mostly in the beginning, we do 200 centimeter of deep bleeding. So after cutting this, it become 180 deep bleeding, okay? Then bring up a 100 elementary limb, then anastomosis. So most of the patients still have about uh, 3.5 meters of the common limb. So these cases, in fact, he don't have malabsorption problems also. So it become a resectional gastric bypass. Uh, this is uh, the OAGB case that my fellow do, okay? In fact, it's even more easier because there's a leak here. So it directly use staple cut it. And then from the incisural area, he cut it. Then he do anastomosis and he ate the brown because he worried about the bioreflux. Okay, so that is the way he do it. It seems a little easier, but because this procedure, develop, the patient developed the marginal ulcer, so as I told you that eventually I do convert to ruin Y. <coughs> uh, this is only two cases of a leak in my series, but it all in very early experience. This been, we started about 14 years ago. So I go back to find the video, nothing. We cannot find a video anymore. So I'm not able to show you the video. Uh, so uh, in this, about the leak, I think loop DJB is quite safe procedures and very low reoperation rate. 10 years follow up, about 3% only. Only two leak of DJ of our 300 cases more in 10 years experience, it account only 0.6%. So I think if you do DJB, you, don't need to worry about too much about the anastomosis failure. It's very rare. And it all these two cases occur in early learning curve of my surgery in the first 20 cases. And dealing with the DJ leak, I think could be resectional gastric bypass or uh, OAGB. Uh, I think it's lead to the similar weight loss and metabolic result. These two cases eventually all are very good and they are almost similar in the weight loss and all the comorbidity resolution. Okay, thank you very much.